So, for the people who don't know, I went to Italy for a concert of uh, for the concert of MGK, uh, whose concert was supposed to go to be in Milan, uh, Milano for the Italian viewers. Uh, Saturday was uh, the time that I was supposed to go and I went to the airport I take my flight to Milan but I didn't go to Milan because the concert was supposed to be in Milan but my girlfriend is now living in a small town called Trento so the whole plan was to go uh, go to Milan after that go to Trento stay in Trento for a couple of days after that go with her to uh, Milan go to the concert then she goes to Trento I go to the airport and I come back so I go to Milan and after that I know that when I land in Milan I should take a bus <coughs> <coughs> sorry I should take a bus to Trento and uh, while we were researching with my girlfriend what exactly we need to do uh, we were wondering if I should take tickets for the bus uh, prior because we were not sure if uh, we are gonna have uh, I'm gonna are there gonna be enough seats when I arrive on the uh, I mean uh, when I arrive from the plane but I decided to take a chance because um, here's what was uh, here was the was the problem uh, my flight was supposed to land at 12.30 and the bus uh, was supposed to go to Trento on uh, um, 12.45. And I was wondering, am I going to make it on time? So I decided not to risk it and wait for the flight to land. And after that, go for the, go for the bus. And if the bus is there, I'm going to buy uh, tickets on the on the spot and i was about to risk it uh and it's a good thing that i did that i didn't risk it because my flight got delayed i arrived 30 minutes late and uh, i went to the station i understood where where the bus was supposed to be all of that but the bad thing was the next bus was after three hours Okay, good. There is a big shopping center uh, right across the airport. Uh, there were places that I can sit on the airport uh, and stuff like that. Um, two hours have passed. I was wandering around. By the way, I was with two backpacks and I was wandering around the airport. It was super heavy, super... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Uh, uncomfortable uh, and at some point I two hours have passed and I started to think okay if my bus got delayed and if my girlfriend buses are delayed every day what are the chances of my bus that I have missed to have been delayed as well and for me to just have missed the bus just because I assume that I have missed it already so I checked if the previous bus that was supposed to be there at 12.30 was delayed. Oh no, uh, it, it was supposed to be at 12.45 was delayed. And it turned out it was delayed. And it was really delayed. And in fact, if I was staying on that bus station when I was checking if that is the correct bus station a couple more minutes, the bus would have come. And I realized that I just wasted two hours of my life. But I saved a couple of money. No, no, not exactly because I have paid for food and shit like that. But anyway, so I, so I was staying for three hours doing nothing. And after that, I got on the bus. I was uh, traveling for three hours again, doing nothing. I was trying to sleep and I think I have slept like an hour. Finally arrived in Trento. Trento is an amazing small town. Really beautiful. 
but I'm not big on small towns. Like I, I don't appreciate small towns as much as Metropolis. Um, so it was nice. We were hanging out, and the first two days of Trento, dead, like dead. It not because of Trento, not because of my girlfriend, not because she was busy, not because I was busy. No, my skin got flamed, inflamed, and I wasn't able to do shit. Like, I wasn't able to sleep, which affected uh, my next couple of days. So basically, the first two days, I was inactive. And uh, my emergency was on the next day to apply corticosteroids. And I got fixed for the for the entirety of the adventure there in Italy. But the first two days I can never get them back. So I was having one full day in Trento that was uh, that we were doing some kind of exciting stuff. We Trento is a small town that is surrounded by mountains. So basically uh, it's a it's a really beautiful view of nature to be in the center of these mountains and at the same time there is a uh, trolley i think it's called trolley uh, up to one of the mountains and you can see trento from above and it's really cool so we did that and um yeah that was our time in trento uh didn't really do anything else except uh, sitting in restaurants because for some reason, in Bulgaria, me personally, I don't sit in restaurants. I, I am a fast food kind of guy. But in Trento, or in Italy in general, I think it's it's like that. I cannot find fast food anywhere. Like, you can find McDonald's, KFC, but not like a casual pizza shop that you can take just pizza and just go. Uh, in uh, Trento, you couldn't do that, so we, we sat in sh and yeah we ate in restaurants it was really cool and uh after that we i mean it's tuesday already it's the day of the concert and it's the day we traveled to milan um we decided to go to milan early so we have time to visit milan and after that go to our place that we have rented for the night because we have rented a place that is next to the stadium, but the stadium is one hour away from the city center uh, by public transport. Public transport. So that was the plan. We uh, went out uh, at around 8. We got the bus and our bus got delayed with one hour. So basically one hour so we were traveling to Milan for three hours and one hour was eaten. So basically we were traveling for four hours. Uh, you know, we arrive in Milan in about uh, 2 p.m. Uh, we decided to walk from the bus station to the city cent center, which took like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, we visit uh, only one place in the center that was spectacular, uh, Domo, uh, some, something like that, a huge cathedral. That was, uh, I'm not a fan of uh, ancient buildings and stuff like that, but uh, let's say it was cool. A lot of people were there, everyone was, were, was taking photos, which uh, I, I was absolutely disgusted by that. Uh, and, I, and after that, we realize it's three uh, or four even, and we're like, we need to head home. We need to head, go head to our place in order to make it for the uh, for the concert on time. Uh, so we uh, got the metro. We headed uh, to our place. By the way, we paid a shit ton of money for that place and we got like one room and one bathroom uh, for a place full of mosquitoes who were friendly though uh, we were 
I was uh, scared that I'm gonna be bitten really hard by these mosquitoes, but this mosquito didn't bite any of us and no one. Uh, so basically it was a little bit of misery and it was still 30 minutes away from the stadium by foot. So we got to our place, it's uh, 6 p.m. already. Uh, and, and we need to be at the concert at the stadium at 6.30 because we had a VIP tickets and there is a, some sort of a program going on for the VIP uh, tickets. First of all, when I bought the tickets for MGK and then we were going to Italy, I was like, I was a little bit skeptical because I was not sure how big is MGK in Italy, but the stadium was jam packed. like. I think it was sold out, in fact, because there were no empty spaces in the whole in the whole uh, stadium. Um, it was really nice. We got into the concert, uh, we got into the stadium, um, into the VIP lounge. Um, I got a photo with uh, MGK's guitar, which was basically nothing. Nothing too fancy because honestly this guy has a lot of guitars and I was wondering if they're gonna give us to take a photo with his signature guitars guitars from the albums but that wasn't the case it was just a pink guitar uh, nothing you cannot even say that it's his guitar it was just a pink guitar um, because for the people who are listening to MGK, tickets from the, my downfall, it's it's pink, it's pink guitar, but it's written tickets for my downfall on the guitar and uh, some other stuff. And from the new album, the guitar is not even pink. So yeah, it was a little bit weird, but in the VIP lounge, MGK came, came in. So basically I was hand distance away from that person. It was cool. Everyone, everyone, uh, uh, everyone started immediately to take pictures and videos of him. I'm pointing that out because I'm gonna use that in the story after everything. After that, the concert, we, <laughs> there were, on the concert, um, the singers that were, uh, <laughs> singer uh, singing were 44 phantom Ian Dior and MGK we missed totally the 44 phantom part because no one said to us that uh, we're gonna kick us out I mean no one told us that 44 phantom is starting or Ian was starting we basically at some point we got bored in the VIP lounge and we decided to go prepare for the concert and we found out that uh, Ian was performing and we, we were kind of sad because we knew that 44 Phantom and Ian were gonna perform but we were sad that there was no an announcement in the place that they are starting or something but anyway um, so Ian part uh, MGK started it was really cool um, it was. It is really cool to be on a con on a concert. It's my first big deal concert on a big uh, singer. Um, it's really cool. The energy is really cool, um, and it's especially really cool if you know every song of the artist, which was the case with MGK. I teared up a couple of times. It was really nice. Uh, I don't know if you have if you're a fan of someone and you are wondering if you want to go on a concert or not just go for it I'm not a concert guy I always thought that I'm gonna hate the concerts because I really prefer listening to clean music without any crowds and stuff like that but it's 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 an entirely different thing like it's an entirely different thing it's 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 not about the music that much it's more it's about the it's it's about the vibe it's about the crowd it's about the noise it's not about the music itself uh so uh 
concert is over, we go to KFC to have a quick snack before going to bed. And we go to bed. And my girlfriend is having lectures on the next day. So in order to for her to miss, I mean, as few lectures as possible, uh, she took the earliest possible bus, which was at 8.35. Uh, so we basically needed to wake up at around 6 a.m. We were uh, we were basically running for that bus and freak the Italian buses, man! Freak the Italian buses! They they always get delayed, and if they don't get delayed, their schedule freaking is messing up all the time. Like the bus was scheduled to be on the station at 8:35. We're continuously watching the website, tracking the bus, etc. And at some point, and don't forget that that from our place to the bus station, there is one hour by public transport. And we have scheduled everything to be on time there, even 10 minutes earlier, if we can. We the bus is at 8:35, and at some point we refresh the page and the bus is at 8. 27 or something and we're like frick we're missing the bus because the metro uh train were delayed as well that were on the public transport and uh, it was so stressful it was so stressful and at the end we we were on time on the bus station for the, that 27 time but the bus got delayed and he left at around 40 even so yeah, that was that. Uh, so that leave me alone. That leaves me alone in Milan, and with around twelve hours until my flight, because my flight is at the same day, but at eight uh, oh, at nine p.m. So what I was doing. I decided to walk in Milan a little bit. I was without my bags. I left my bags in my place. My whole point was just to kill time while I go back to my place and go back to the center and stuff like that. So I walk around the city a little bit. I pick the public transport. I go back to our place. I went to the city center. Uh, I walked a little bit. I went for a place to eat. I ate. After that, I had a walk to the to their public bus station it is it was really nice because uh, I visited a part of the city that was a little bit newer uh, and it was really I, I really love the energy of a mega a metropo, a metropolis kind of city and Milan is just like that you're seeing on a map it's, it's a little city but in reality it's ginormous ginormous you you Pick a distance from one point to the other, and it's minimum 15 minutes. And and you you see it on the map like that, and you're like, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be two, three minutes by foot. In, in reality, it's just ginormous distance. Um so from the center to the central bus station, it took me around 40 minutes by foot. It's a big ass station, a lot of buses, uh, I think uh, the trains are even, uh, the train station is close to that station. Anyway, a big ass station, a lot of people. Uh, so the time is uh, 1.30. Uh, I take my bus, I, I slept the entire time on the bus, I, I arrived at the airport at 2.30. And honestly, I'm not sure what to do for seven more hours in order for my uh, to wait for my flight. So I go to that mall that I was explaining about at the beginning. I sat there, I ate, uh, I was watching things on my laptop, but I couldn't find a charging station so I can charge my laptop. So basically I watched things for one hour, I ate one hour. So the time is around uh, around five now. And uh, I just drank something for another hour and decided to go to the to the airport. I went to the airport with the hope to find a charging station, by the way. 
uh, I went to the airport. Um, uh, I was wandering around for one hour there until I found my gate. Now it's 7 p.m. My flight is at around 9 p.m. I went to the gate. I was waiting for another two hours, I think. Uh, my, of course, my flight got delayed. And yeah, everything happened. And uh, I was here at around 12, 12.30. I hit the bed. I couldn't sleep very well. I, I think I got inflamed again. Maybe tonight I'm going to apply corticosteroids again. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do at this point. Uh, but anyway, that was my trip. What is the takeaway of uh, that trip? I took my camera on that trip. I took this bad boy on that trip. My camera. Um, <coughs> and uh, my, my whole point was to vlog my entire journey in Italy. Um, because I want to share it with uh, you. Because I think it was so cool. But I didn't do it because I got inflamed for the first two days because I didn't start vlogging from the from here because I was like uh, I, I kind of want to start the video as a shocker like I'm in Italy kind of intro nice uh, but I got there I got inflamed I couldn't do anything literally I was focusing on spending time with my girlfriend uh, when I could uh of course and after that after these two days were over i was like okay i have one day and super honestly i forgot my camera for the third day but i don't regret it because i spent some quality time with my girlfriend at least um and uh, after that our trip to milan i could have filmed there but i was a little bit scared that uh someone is gonna steal my camera and that's why I didn't vlog anything from there. Also, I got disgusted by the fact that everyone is visiting their um, their places to visit. Uh, and they're just taking photos. Taking photos. There were, there were people... I'm not sure what, what exactly they did there. But let, let, let's try to imagine that. You are on a vacation and you bring... A photographer with you just to take photos in front of an Asian uh, ancient uh, church uh, no it's it's not a church it's bigger anyway big ass church like there were a ton of photographers out there with ton of girls posing in front of that thing I got disgusted that's that's it and uh there there was no point in bringing my camera to the concert because i was afraid for my camera again uh <coughs> um so yeah that was everything the last chance to film everything was when i was having plenty of time uh to my flight and i was uh, thinking about scenarios to go throughout the city to shoot different things that no one is shooting but they're still cool but i was like maybe it wasn't meant to be maybe maybe this time wasn't the time that i was supposed to vlog so i said to myself that every time when i go somewhere i'm gonna vlog from now on and i'm gonna use that experience that i had as uh, the life telling me to slow down a little bit and just just appreciate the moments that I can without taking photos or anything. That's my story. 